the business model is broken and nobody's quite figured out how to replace the once, you know, very, it was, it used to be to have, a, to own a newspaper was a license to print money or to print, you know, to make money. Uh, now uh, those margins are much more smaller and nobody's figured out how to replace the good old fashioned print advertising revenue that once was there with online revenue. People aren't just relying on traditional media anymore for news. And so journalism, and particularly journalists, aren't as valued as maybe they used to be. You know, you can go on to any kind of website or blog and get news and information. Or you write, on the other end, you write individuals who, um, who will put information out there or consider themselves a journalist when in reality they, they've never taken a journalism class in their life. They don't have a degree in journalism. They don't necessarily share the same values and and beliefs as traditional journalists would, and but yet they have the same impact. I, I think the problem that we have right now is I think the latest research showed about 6% of the American people actually trust journalists, which is the lowest uh, of all time. I think before the election it was like 17%, and in some polls it's dropped down to only 6% of the American people trust journalism, which is really sad because of all the things that journalism does, trust is the number one thing because we sell information. If you can't trust the information, what good is the information? And, and so I think uh, Denzel Washington, uh, he did an interview the other day and he said, if you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read the newspaper, you're misinformed. And, and so that is what people think of journalism in America today, that if you watch it or listen to it, you are misinformed. And so that is kind of the state that we're in right now that you just don't know who to trust. And that's the problem. You get information, you don't know if it's real or it's fake. Uh, even information that you get from uh, legitimate news sources or so sources that you thought were the legitimate news sources are very questionable as whether they're accurate or not. When I started in journalism in the early 1980s, there were fewer networks, fewer newspapers, uh, fewer magazines. And while the audience has grown since then just because of an increase in population, you're still seeing the, the same basic audience divided up into more segments. That means less market uh, share for everybody, less revenue for everybody, and uh, a scramble to recoup some of that lost revenue or find new revenue models. So it probably hit newspapers the hardest, the earliest followed by news magazines. Uh, but the broadcast environment has not been immune from that as well. Um, newspapers are going out of business right and left. Some of them are staying on. They're doing OK online. A few of them are. Um, and some of them still do good quality work. Um, but there are very few jobs right now available in print journalism at, like there used to be uh, because they've just had a real reduction in the workforce. And then the same in television, the ratings are way, way down in television across the board on the network and in local news. 